What's up everybody? It's Big Rob TV and I'm back with another tech video. Alright, so as many of you may know who have been following my channel, just a few weeks ago I had an accident with my Pixel XL2 that I had just recently got. So I had to ship that phone off to the States to a friend of mine who took it to a shop to get it fixed for me. So today I got it back All right so this is my Pixel XL2 just got it back today screens fixed no cracks everything's just like new maybe better than before actually so glad to have my Pixel XL2 back but while it was gone I had to sacrifice I didn't have a phone for the first you know, week and a half of that. I didn't have a cell phone for the first week and a half after I sent it off. What I did instead here was I carried around this for maybe the first week and a half. I carried this around. This is my Kindle Fire, right? So this is my Kindle Fire and most places here have Wi-Fi. So I carried the Kindle Fire around everywhere that I could go and get Wi-Fi at and used it as a replacement for the Pixel XL2. But this is not meant to be a cell phone replacement. This is meant to read books, maybe lightly browse the internet, but not to replace your cell phone, right? So it was rough. It was rough. My, my boss, my friend, she had an extra cell phone lying around. So she said, let me get my screen fixed on this phone and I will let you use this phone until your phone comes back. I said, deal. The phone that she had to let me borrow is this. This is the iPhone 5C. Now, if you know me, you know I am Android, Google, through and through. Pixel phone, Pixel book pen, and Pixel book. You know me, I am Mr. Google. I'm biased. I usually only rock with Google. Before in the past, you would never see me with this device or any device that looks like it, right? But I have some things to say. I'll share my opinions on using this device for the last five days before my Pixel came back. So let's go ahead and get into it. So for the last five days, I've been using this iPhone 5C. In case you haven't realized, this phone was released in 2013, if I'm not mistaken. So this phone is four years old, right? What I will say is that even though I'm a Google person, I'm a Google guy, this has definitely been better than I expected to uh, expected it to be, and it's better than definitely not having a phone at all. So uh, my main things about this phone, I'll get into the negatives first. I'll get into the things that I absolutely did not like about this phone first, and then I'll tell you what I did like and my overall opinion of using the iPhone for five days. So the things that I don't like, first off, I do not know how we used phones this size back in 2013. This thing is absolutely tiny. It is so small. Look at this. Look, I can almost cover up the entire device just like that. It is so small of a device. I, it's, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. That's one of the things like the size of this iPhone is just one thing that I just, you know, it, it was hard for me to use it because I'm a bigger guy and I don't have the biggest of hands, but trying to text, it was like my fingers were going over each other trying to hit this screen. And I don't know how we dealt with that back in those days. Um, definitely good for one-handed use, but I, I'm a quick texter. I like the bam, 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 boom, boom, boom. and it's a little bit small for my normal texting methods. One of the second things, the second thing that I didn't like about this is the keyboard, the stock keyboard. Um, now my buddy, 
my buddy Steve, Steve Austin, I call him Big Van Vader. <laughs> my buddy hit me up and he said that uh, once I told him, I said, man, I cannot rock with this keyboard on this iPhone. This is my setup, by the way. This is how I have it set up right now. You have the first home screen there and then boom. What's that? That's my appointment screen, my widgets. And then we go back the other way and I have a few more apps set up there. That's what I'm rocking with. So I hit my buddy up. I said, man, I cannot rock with this keyboard. This keyboard just sucks. He said, you can switch that out and use a different keyboard. So I didn't switch it out because by the time I talked to him about that, I already have my um, Pixel 2 back. So here again, here's the Pixel 2. Um, so I never switched back to the a different keyboard. But I can tell you, the stock keyboard on this, not a fan of it. Just can't rock with that. Um, the other thing that I didn't really like is the fact that I'm so used to being an Android guy. There's always been a back button on this phone. There's always a back button, right? Are we seeing that there? Back button. There's no back button. And if it is something on the screen, it's like way at the top of the page. And granted, the phone's not that big. But if you're just trying to go back, man, let me go back to this app. Boom. Let me go back and do this. It's, it's not as simple to me as it is to use on the uh, Pixel or any Google device. It's just I'm just used to having that. That's kind of nitpicky. That's not something that's like a game changer. But it's just something that took a little bit of getting used to and that I wasn't a fan of. Uh, Believe it or not though, back in 2013, when this phone was released, I walked into a store and actually considered getting this device because I was interested in trying out an Apple device, but I passed on it and I went with, what was it at the time, the HTC M7, uh, M7, I went with the M7 I think it was instead and great device that M7 was. So. I actually consider this back in the day so let's get into the positive things that I like the things that I actually enjoyed about using it um, even for this to be a four-year-old device iOS still runs smooth like it still runs pretty good you know what I mean like maybe I don't know how iOS is supposed to run because I'm not I don't use iPhones that much but to me this feels pretty good to be a four-year-old phone. This definitely feels, in terms of technology, better than carrying around a uh, Kindle Fire. And this is brand new and came out this year. The technology on this is from four years ago. Definitely felt smooth. It wasn't, as far as usability and the smoothness of the device, it wasn't as bad. Uh, certainly, some things didn't open up as quickly as uh, 2017 device would but that's to be expected but overall it felt pretty good like felt pretty good and soon as uh, as soon as my friend uh, gave me this device to use it uh, it received an update what was the update to I'm sorry uh, I think it was to 10.3 let me get into that let me get into that the software is 10.3.3 if you all can see that boom this is what the software went to 10.3.3 uh, so pretty smooth this is actually the last update that this phone will receive it will not receive an update to iOS 11 or whatever it is now I read online that 10.3.3 is the final update that this device will see. Getting into other things, the speaker, that's actually a negative. I should have mentioned that before. It gets covered up easily. It gets covered up so easily and muffles out the sound because for one it's a small, it's a small device, it's a small screen. 
So, of course, your finger is just going to rest right there on the speaker. Let me find something for you all to hear. Uh, let's test this out. Give me... What can we play here? Um, let's go back over here. Just as an example. But that's one of the, that's one complaint that I had. Um, beats, boom, and then let's get into these beats right here. And um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find a, a beat to play for you all. Uh, Turn up the volume. Alright, so this is the this is it. And it sounds alright. It sounds alright coming from there right now. Right? But listen to this. Thumb over the speaker, gone. Boom. Thumb over the speaker, gone. So that's definitely a weak spot for this phone. Especially for like anybody that enjoys listening to music on their phones. If you're trying to listen to music and multitask and do something else, your fingers are going to cover this up. Now let's do a comparison. Pixel. Pixel XL 2. Front facing speakers. Dual front facing speakers. Let's hear that. Rest your finger on the bottom, nothing changes. Nothing changes. This is where it's at. This is why I would prefer this because front facing speakers. Now, I know that in 2017, let's get that out of there. I know that in 2017, Apple makes phones that have a bottom speaker and a, uh, a top speaker here so that you have your dual sounding stereo sounding speakers which is cool but i'm saying for the sake of using this for the last week and a half or last week just just not going to cut it getting into other things here uh i do like the fact that most of the apps seem to run well the apps that it was easy to set everything up the way that i used my pixel on this most of the apps that i use worked seamlessly over here the one exception really being google play music if i wanted to buy something on google play music i can't do it because apple doesn't allow you to do that but you can listen to whatever you would like here's that back one like how would I, this is google play music here how do i get back i gotta scroll all the way up to the top and there's a back button there but say i'm listening to something Here's the new new releases, recommend the new releases. What if I say, man, I want to get that Kendrick album, right? And I hit the button. There's no option here to buy. There's absolutely no option to go in there and buy the album. Now say I'm doing the same thing here. Here's the new releases. Here's the front the home page. So recommend the releases. You see that there. And we got Kendrick right the damn collection and reverse basically what this is now look at that buy so that's one thing that you know i rock with google play music i don't listen to apple music i don't do itunes i rock with google play music if i wanted to cop a new album can't do it on the iphone so that's a knock uh outside of that man the speed of the phone, it connected to the, uh, as soon as I put my SIM card in, it connected to the network. I didn't have to enter any special codes. It went straight through. Uh, before I had the Galaxy S8 uh, Plus, and you had to go and set it up and do all this extra stuff to make sure that it connected to the internet. With the iPhone, it did it automatically. I didn't have to do anything special. So that's a positive. Uh, just overall, man, my overall opinion, I gave you a few different things. Did I talk about the camera? 
The camera on this actually takes pretty decent pictures. In no way is it competing with a 2017 camera phone, but it did take, you know, pretty decent pictures to hold it down uh, since I didn't have a phone. So all in all, after five days with using this device, well, I can say that would I use this phone, is this iPhone 5C worth using in 2017? If you're in a pinch and you need a phone, absolutely, this will suffice. This will hold you down for as long as you may need it in case of an emergency in 2015 or in 2017, excuse me. In 2017, this phone will hold you down in case of an emergency. Or if you are not a power user and you don't really care about tech specs and how you know updated the phone is and you can get by the, the speaker being weak and not having the bigger screen, this will hold you down. For me though, in 2017, I cannot continue to use this device, use this device, and luckily my Pixel is back. So I can switch back to using what I'm used to using. With that being said, I know people were probably expecting me to say, ah, I will never use an iPhone again, and iPhone sucks, Apple sucks. I'm not gonna say that. What I will say is that had I, used a bigger iPhone instead of this, a bigger iPhone, a newer iPhone. Had this been an iPhone, let's say seven plus, eight plus, if this had been an iPhone 10, it might have made a difference in helping me become more of a fan of Apple devices. Um, I feel like I could use an iPhone. I just can't use this iPhone for longer than what is required. Uh, had this been one of those previously mentioned iPhones and it had been two or three months ago before I invested 100% in all the Google devices that I invested in, then maybe I could have seen myself switching instead of going from the Pixel XL 2 to, you know, and the Pixel Book 10 and the Pixel Book here. If it was a few months ago and I hadn't got all these things and I tried out the iPhone instead, then maybe I could see myself converting and getting an iPhone 10, a uh, MacBook Air. You know, and keeping the previous, I had an iPad mini that I had before I got this, but I sold it. I sold it because I, you know, I wasn't really rocking with the, the iPad like that. So I sold it for a couple hundred dollars, three hundred dollars. And, you know, went completely Android out. But had this been September and maybe, you know, September, October time frame before all the Google devices came out, and I went and got the iPhone 8 or the iPhone 10 was released, then this might be a different story. I like the direction that Apple is going now. My main issue with Apple before was that some of the software sucked and I just could not get rid of, you know, that image in my head and that feeling of it not being Google. But I can use most of my Google apps on this uh, iPhone now and I'm sure it works even better on the newer iPhones so as an Android purist as a Google purist as a Nexus and a pixel purist I can honestly say the newer iPhones anything I'd say from 2016 and on I could probably use it and be happy with using it so Using a Apple iPhone 5C in 2017, definitely a good experience, but I'm happy to be back. Definitely happy to be back on Team Pixel. 
So that's going to do it, man. Thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you have not already. Thank you all for watching. And thank you to everyone who's been giving me different ideas. It's bringing me back up. Thank you to those who've been watching my videos and giving me different ideas on content to provide. I truly appreciate you all. Um, if you have any other ideas for things that you would like to see on this channel, leave those in the comments and I'll try to get into doing different things because this channel is not all about sneaker reviews. So um, thanks again for watching. Thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you have not already. And I will holler at you all in the next video.